So I don't know how many of you out there are familiar with the Ring doorbell, but it's basically this new age doorbell that has a camera inside of it that allows you to see everything happening on your front porch, as well as quite a ways out onto the street or dirt road or whatever it is you happen to have out in front of your house. They even put a speaker and microphone on the front of the device so that if someone is standing out there like the delivery man for instance, you can tell them, hey, put that package right there sonny boy and no more personal deliveries inside this home with my wife while I'm out at work. These doorbells also record everything they're seeing, so it's been used to solve crimes. Some people use these doorbells to make sure their kids aren't sneaking out. And so overall, this thing is a real snitch. I'm going snowboarding. I'm honestly just glad they didn't have this shit back when I was in high school. Or in the case that they like to display over and over again in their commercials, they're encouraging customers to send out a little message to the people who are about to rob their home. Hi there, what can I do for you? Is this 217 Pine Street? No, I think you're in the wrong place. Sorry. How do you see that crusty, creepy dude at your doorstep and not want to immediately run home? This guy probably got into his car, sped off, and caused a car accident on the way home just because he was so nervous. But even worse than that ad, there's one particular commercial that I hate more than all the others. Just because of the sheer corniness of the entire situation. You got these two white dudes pulling up on a nice suburban home, looking to score some big time loot. Holy shit, I'm gonna come. And they do a really good job of making these guys look like filthy, grungy, lowlife scum. Like they literally just crawled out of a hole escaping from prison. They're driving up and they start with this little tidbit from our burglar buddies. This one looks empty. What do you think? Like if that's a realistic situation at all, just in broad daylight to go and rob some random house in the suburbs that you weren't even camping out, maybe my view is skewed because I'm from Texas where everyone has a gun, but this seems like a good way to get a couple of bullet holes through your chest. I don't care how many cars are out in the driveway, you just never know who's behind that door, it might be a granny with a shotgun. And also this isn't the hood guys, the police will say they'll be here shortly and actually mean it. There's white lives at risk here and these men are about to commit some white on white crime today. That is until Leonard from the Big Bang Theory's autistic brother comes through to save the day via his smartphone. Oh wow, is he trendy. With his baby hands, this guy can barely grip the phone. But he's standing there tough at the gym with his little 11 year old prepubescent boy body, telling these burglars to fuck off. Dude, stop. What? I got a ring. What are we supposed to do? Well, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd start running. Let's, let's maybe now, gentlemen, okay, hustle! Go, go, go. Why did this dude say gentlemen like he's watched every Alpha M video in existence? This nerd just irks me so much. I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's the little towel, or the terrible haircut, or the windshield-sized glasses on his face. Now, gentlemen, hustle! What a pussy. We all know a real man would have waited until his house was already getting burglarized, shown up just in the nick of time and taken these guys out like John Wick. Also, is it just me or does this advertisement kind of make burglary look like a funny little joke to these people over at the ring company, when that's supposed to be one of their main selling points of their product is to stop these burglaries. So in my opinion, this whole advertisement campaign was just a terrible idea. And then the inventor of the ring doorbell comes in and tells us why we should all go buy this invasion of property on a stick. Does your doorbell do that? Ours does. Get tough on crime with the Ring Video Doorbell. Keep your home and your neighborhood safe. Does this guy not look like an NFL quarterback to anyone else? I'm sure he has money falling out of his ass and he wants to be in every home in America, so I guess you could say this guy is coming for you, Bezos. So overall, I don't like the doorbell, I don't like the commercial, and I'm a very bitter man. I'll see you all tomorrow. Drop a like on the video. Peace.